What does privacy, security and storage have in common? Meet Iagon, today's decentralized solution. Hi, I'm Linda. I'm the owner and operator of the Malostake Pulan Cardano and a lover of all things crypto. There might be some excess storage and compute power sitting idle in your unused devices and hard drives and with Iagon you can share the surplus with anyone who might need it and earn a few extra bucks while doing so. The goal is to create a marketplace with easy accessibility and a strong focus on data privacy and security. Currently, the only way most of us can access large compute sources is through centralized entities like Amazon, Microsoft or Google. But this dependency comes with its share of problems. Malicious actors can exploit vulnerabilities, hack those systems and leak sensitive data. And it's not just external threats that we need to worry about. These providers have been known to collect user data for their own shenanigans. Another issue is that those data farms are centralized, which means that they can go offline and disrupt vital services. Iagon's goal is to fix these issues. And the first point of attack is to improve security to prevent malicious actors from hacking the system. To do this, Iagon created what they call Secure Lake. Secure Lake is based on decentralization, encryption, random clipping masks, and a whole bunch of other stuff to protect data. One key feature is freezing the lake, which prevents hackers from navigating through the data lake even after they have gained access. With Iagon, you can pick your own data storage preferences. And they also make sure that everything aligns with region-specific data handling regulations. One key feature is ensuring anonymous browsing and protecting user data. Cookie! Cookie! Me love cookie! Harm! Centralized storage and computing providers can go offline and outages aren't uncommon. The most effective way to tackle this issue is by establishing multiple data centers in a decentralized manner. Doing this ensures that there's always a backup. And through connecting all these data centers, business computers and private users worldwide, Iagon's goal is to ensure that outages will be an issue of the past. Okay, so here's everything you need to know about setting up your Iagon node and start earning those staking rewards. I'll also leave all the important links in the description box down below. Okay, so here's an overview of the minimum requirements that you'll need to set up that node. And keep in mind that your internet connection will have to be quite fast and you'll need quite a bit of storage space. To start your node, you'll also have to lock up some of your IAG tokens. To become eligible for your monthly rewards, you'll have to stake your IAG for three months first. How much you need to lock up is proportionate to the storage you wish to provide and also depends on the current token price. To ensure a fair reward distribution, Iagon has implemented a tier system. The performance is measured by storage amount, the overall bandwidth, uptime and the read-write speed. And the better your node performs, the more rewards you'll get. Okay, but how does all of this exactly look in numbers? Iagon has reserved 100 million tokens for rewards for the first 15 years. Keep in mind that rewards depend on individual performances as well as the total value of IAG staked by node operators. As of today, we are at 15 million IAG tokens staked. The rewards will be capped at 30% APY until we have reached 30 million in stake from node operators, and it will gradually reduce with the network's growth and the reduction of rewards allocated each year. And after all of this, if becoming a decentralized storage provider sounds like something that you would be into, I have also linked a guide on how to set up your Iagon node in the description box down below. But before you pack your bags and rocket to the moon with Iagon, be aware of the challenges in this space. There's a lot of competition in this space and centralized storage providers have created a substantial monopoly as well as other projects building similar protocols. That is not to say that Iagon cannot come out on top, but it will probably be an uphill battle. Also be aware that regulatory compliance for data storage within your country of operation may be applicable to you. 
And that's it for today. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.